something. So today we're going to talk about open for love. Open for love. See, the enemy once thought that he had done so much to you that he had shut you down. But I want the devil in hell to know that you are ready for your next blessing. You are ready for your next opportunity. Opportunity. Come on here. What the devil meant for evil, God's about to flip that thing. I need you to make sure you're sitting in the ready section or the section that's ready for God to come in your direction. Do me a favor. Touch your neighbor. Say, I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. We are going to look at the relationship of two women. Please pay attention. We're going to show you how one is forced to be open when others thought she should have been closed. Can we talk? It'll blow your mind how many people think you should have crumbled by now. But let the record reflect you, my brothers and my sisters, are a survivor. Oh, you don't need to know all my business, but let me give you a little bit. You can't handle it all. Can you just nudge your name and say, I am a survivor. We're going to show you the relationship between an OG by the name of Naomi and a new G by the name of Ruth. Can we talk Bible for a minute? The Bible says that the OG was married to a man and she had two sons. Due to a famine, they left Israel and moved to Moab to be among the Moabites. Situations can cause you to move, but certain moves are not permanent. It's only for a season. Can we talk for a minute? The Bible says that when she gets there, she has a husband and her two sons. Eventually, her two sons marry Moabite women by the name of Orpah, not Oprah. Mm -mm. Oprah, not Mary. Come on, let's talk. I mean, she got stead man, but they not married. Can we just talk? Come on, let's go. <laughs> that was good. Listen. It's Orpah, Orpah and Ruth. These are Naomi's two daughter-in-laws. Then something strange happens. What happens? They have to have three funerals. The father die, and then the two boys die. All the men have been wiped out, and now the three women are left by themselves. Please hear me. What do you do when the bottom drops out? You got to know that God is up to something. And I'm talking to some of y'all because things have not gone the way that you planned. This is opposite of your vision board. But God is the author and the finisher of your faith. I need you to make sure that you are alert and aware that something has to be going on in your life. Those of you that know that what you're experiencing right now is not natural. This thing got to be spiritual. I need you to warn everybody in your section, something is going on in the spirit realm. Something is happening, something is happening. So, pay attention, touch your name say, pay attention. Something is happening, something going down. Something's going down. Now let's talk for a minute. There are three things that should have shut Ruth down. Let's go. Number one, you marry an Israelite and you're a Moabite, which means there's been a lot of chatter going on about you. For some of you all under the sound of my voice, I'm amazed how you've um, survived all the gossip, all the naysayers, all the people that got an opinion over your life. Isn't it amazing how those that ain't doing nothing got so much to say, but let the record reflect that you never chase a lie. 
come on here as a matter of fact the more they talked the more it made you want to live I wish you were sitting next I'm not gonna fight you I'm not gonna go back and forth with you word for word as obviously I'm gonna let you talk because I must be the center of your attention touch your neighbor say I'm glad you survived the lie the chatter the backstabber the gossiper the village talking the church talking your mama talking your daddy talking <laughs> she didn't allow the chatter to shut her down the second thing that she didn't allow to shut her down was death death is loss and people look at you but they have no idea of some of the things that you have lost. As a matter of fact, the average person, had they lost what you lost, they would be in a mental institution. They would be on medication. But can I tell you something? You don't look like you even filed for bankruptcy one day. You don't look like you even know what the unemployment office look like. You don't look like you've been divorced. You don't look like you had a funeral. You look better than people that have never gone through half of what you've been through. As a matter of fact, it didn't kill you. It made you better. Touch your neighbor and say, dry your tears. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get your last cry out. Get your last, fall out right now. Because when you get up, you can't fall out no more. Come on here, I need you to go ahead and get over who dead. Because who dead ain't coming back. But God got something better for you. If he removed them, I need you to get in the seat of expectation. Woo! Come on here, come on here. Touch your neighbor and say, the lie didn't kill you. The death didn't kill you. Come on, let's talk. Ready? Then the Bible, that's another, another thing that should have shut her down, was the fact that she had not had any children. In other words, you're with something that's supposed to produce something, but you're not producing like you thought you should. Is there anybody else besides me that knew that you were in the right place with the right people, but it ain't coming forth the way that it's supposed to come forth? Watch me. In other words, you've lacked some things and you did everything right, but you're not getting what you're supposed to have. And you're standing up and you're empty-handed and there's a part of you that want to make you doubt God. Come on here. He was God before you lost anything. Y'all not saying nothing to me. I need everybody to pay attention right now. Watch me. Watch me. See, anybody can praise God when you're holding a baby. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Anybody can praise God when you got a job. Anybody can praise God when you got money in the bank. Anybody can praise God when you at your best. But a true person, watch me, a true faith walking person, we don't wait until we get it. We shout in advance knowing that eyes haven't seen any. Whoa! The devil thought he had shut down some of you all based on the lie, based on the loss, and based on the feeling of not producing. But I need to send a report to hell. I need everybody to get ready because I need every demon to take this report down to your boss called the devil. Tell the devil everything you tried didn't work because they still giving God glory. They still believe that this next decade is going to set them up for the rest of their life on the count of three I want you to give God a praise for all the hell you've already been through one two three go Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got my reasons for doing what I tell you. Touch your neighbor, say, get your emotions together, get your emotions together. I know you are hurting, but you can't go crazy. I know you are hurting, but you can't have a nervous breakdown. I know you are hurting, but you can't stop praising God. I know you're mad, but I need you to be mad and glad. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I need you to watch me. I need you to wipe your tears. I need you to comb your hair. I need you not to look like the devil got you. The devil is a... Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You can't allow your pain to control your emotions. 
You cannot allow your pain to control your emotions. I'm going to say that again. You cannot allow your pain to control your emotions. Come on, everybody say, I cannot allow my pain to control my emotions. I cannot be sitting up crying all day. I can't be depressed. I'm going to give myself just 10 minutes to be down. Yep, you got nine. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I can't stay here because the devil can't hit a moving target. And I... You ready? Watch me. So now once you get control of your emotions, I have my reasons for everybody doing what I tell you to do. Touch your neighbor and say, gather yourself, gather yourself, gather yourself because you're about to come to a crossroad. you about to come to a crossroad. You're going to have to make a decision. Mm. So the Bible says that the OG says to the young G's, Ruth and Naomi, this is a crossroad. Return home, you young G's. Why would you come with an OG? I'm too old. Am I going to have any more sons? It ain't going to happen. Who could become your husbands. I've already given you my sons, but for some strange reason, God has decided to take them. This is a crossroad. And this is why I told you to get control over your emotions, because I don't need you to make an emotional decision. Y'all ain't saying that to me now. You have made enough emotional decisions I need to, when you when you make this decision, I need you not to be crying. I need you not in the flow rolling. You're going to make a spiritual, conscious decision that this decade is going to be better than the previous decade. What I lost in the last, he going to make up. Ah, come on here I need you to get ready to make a spiritual decision come on here come on here Does your neighbor say you cannot make another emotional decision yeah boo your next one gonna have to be spiritual mm, watch me because watch me you're gonna have to make a choice Everybody hear me clearly? Life, look at me, is full of choices. And I need you to know that when you hit a crossroad, you're either going to go to the right or you're going to go to the left. Watch me. What you've lost got you here. Mm. In other words, God allowed you to go through some things to get you to the crossroad. Say now, what, what, what is we's going to do? What is we's going to do? do oh please the decision is look at me yours nobody gonna put you in a headlock stop saying yes lord tell me what to do god do it for me no you do it it's, it's on you now you it you it you it come on touch that name say you're it your choice your choice your choice now watch me watch me watch me watch me watch me choice bring change mm choice bring change if you don't make a choice that means that nothing will change come on here and if not watch me watch me watch me and if nothing changed you gonna die but how many y'all know that it's not time for you to die i even feel like he got something greater oh God! come on choice is about to bring change Choice is about to bring change. I need you to make sure you're around people who are ready for change. I need to be around people who feel like, listen, this income just can't be it for me. The way I live just can't be it for me. How I've been feeling just can't be it for me. I need to make the right choices so my situation can 
change watch me if you satisfied then stay there but if you're ready for something greater if you feel like eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard if you believe that God brought you through all the hell you've been through watch me why would he leave you alive just to stay the way you are which means that he's ready for you to get to your next place in him I wish I was sitting in the building with those that are ready for change is there anybody in the building I'm so ready for change I don't know what to do I'm so tired of people being stuck on stupid I'm so tired of people fighting over stuff that even ain't really no issue I'm ready to be around some eagles and not some pigeons I need you to make come on here do me a favor touch two people around and say it's about to make the right choice you're about to make the right choice so you can get oh speak this change ah. and as they wept together wipe your tears Wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Stop all this darn crying. Stop all this darn crying. As they wept together, watch this one. Watch this Oprah girl. And then Oprah kissed her mother-in-law. <laughs> Deuces. You're right. You can't, I can't get nothing else up out of you. You're right. You ain't got nothing else to give me. And I need some of y'all to be okay with those they tell you deuces because you ain't got nothing they think you ain't got nothing else to give them see what you've only been doing you've been looking at my present but you don't know my future and i only need to be around people who can acknowledge my past come on here stay with me in my present but know my future is about to be greater i need some of y'all to be okay with the kiss Kiss me, hurry up, kiss me, kiss me and hit the dough. Hit, kiss me and go where you going. Kiss me, get the stepping. Do you need me to lean in? What you need? Get it over with, hurry up. This is why Jesus, Jesus told Judas, you portray of the son of man with a kiss. Hurry up and kiss me so that I can get to the cross. And for some of y'all, you've been hating the kiss goodbye. But the Lord told me to tell you to lean in and take it with a smile on your face. Because the sooner they leave, the quicker you change. Do me a favor, let's get spiritual. In the spirit, can you just start waving your hand like bye, 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 bye. You don't want nobody that don't want to be with you. Oh! But Ruth. You want the people around you say, hey, I'm clinging. Where you go, I'm going. When you dip, I dip. When you walk, I walk. I need you to make sure you're around some clingy people. Right now, I need to be around people that we gonna all change together. I need you to make sure you're around somebody that when I move, you move. Y'all ain't saying it like I want you to say it. When I move, you move. I need you to make sure you're around changers. I need you to make sure you're around people who set the temperature. I need you to make sure you're around somebody who know that eyes haven't seen and ears. Come on, y'all. I need you to check your environment real quick. If you sit in the wrong section, I need you to get around the changers. But don't sit next to somebody who content and believe that this is all that God. How you know? How you know how I feel? I can tell how you feel based on your worship. Because your worship is a sign to let us know those of you that believe that God's going to do the supernatural lift your hands open your mouth and worship God for change Come on, y'all, I need you to get in the spirit if you don't mind. Open your mouth and say, I choose to change. Yay!
I choose to change. I choose to get out of here. I choose to be open for what's next. Ooh, I choose, listen to me, to be open for what's next. Do me a favor. Touch him and say, you ready? You ready? Uh-uh, you ain't say it right. I need you to say it like, I need you to say it like they getting dressed. I need you to say it like this next decade gonna be life-changing. Come on here, touch him and say, you ready? You, trust me, based on the hell you've been through, you, if anybody ready, I know you ready. If anybody, if anybody ready for a new thing to happen, Come on, I'm ready for your calendar to be filled. I'm ready for your name to be brought up. I'm ready for your address to change. I'm ready for you to find favor. I'm ready for the devil to get his hands off of you. Come on, y'all, make sure you're around somebody who can release that word over you. Come on, y'all, touch two people and say, you ready? It's about to go down. It's about to go down down it's about to go you ready you ready you ready you ready you are ready come on have a hood moment girl you ready hit it tell them you ready you ain't gonna have to scratch your head like this no much longer. You gonna have enough money to get your hair done every week. Come on, tell them, you ready? You are. Take your account down off Tinder. You ready? Now let me tell you what you're ready for. There are three things that God's about to get you ready for. And I need you to pay close attention. You ready? These are the three things that you're ready for. Ruth replied, don't play with me. Don't urge me to leave you or turn back. I'm not going back to the pain. I'm not going back to death. I'm not going back to gossip. I'm not going back to not being productive. Backwards is stupid. And I need to say that again. Backwards Why would you go back to who already left you? Why would you go back to who's dead? Why seek ye the living among the dead? You ready? Here's my line. Here's, here's, here's the areas that you're ready for. Now I need everybody's attention because if you pay attention, you'll see how God is already beginning to move some things. If you pay attention, you will already begin to say, you know what? I get it it's an aha moment um where you go I'm going where you stay I'm staying what is that you are shifting oh my god I need everyone to open your mouth I need you to put this out there I'm shifting come on come on open my say I'm on the move <laughs> You ready? That's number one. Number two. Now your people got to be better than mine. So I am open that your people going to be my people. What's that mean? My surrounding is about to change. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He about to get you away from haters. He about to get you away from your crazy dysfunctional family. He about to get you away from your past. I need you to open your mouth and I need you to say this like your surrounding is going to be the bomb. I need you to say it like, like you are not, you are no longer be going to be dealing with the same crazy stuff. Can you open your mouth and say with, with, with confidence, my surrounding is changing and they are amazing. <laughs> I am shifting, my surrounding is changing 
and I know that this thing is spiritual. This is not by accident, so your God gonna be my God. So basically, I'm gonna submit to the spiritual submission. I'm gonna submit this, lift your hands and just say, yes, Lord, yes. For those under the sound of my voice, I need you to pay attention. You're shifting. Your surrounding is changing and a demand is being put on you. You're shifting. Your surrounding is changing and you're starting to feel that a spiritual demand is being put on you. I need you to hear what I just said. You're shifting. Your surrounding is changing. So the next time that they, that they block you, when they block you, you delete them. <laughs> You're surrounding it. Now watch, watch shift, watch shift. Ready? So we work, everybody say, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. I, come on, I, this is spiritual, guys. This is spiritual. Open your mouth, say, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. All right, so now watch, watch the shift. So we started out in Moab. When we went from Moab, that's where we experienced death. That's where we experienced not being productive. That's where we experienced this gossip. So then, based upon that, what should have killed me, I shift and I end up in Bethlehem. Two women went on until they came to Bethlehem when they arrived in Bethlehem. Watch me. So I sold tears in Moab, but now I'm in a whole nother location and I'm in a, another city. Watch me. Some of y'all are in Chicago physically, but mentally you're in another city. Mm. You already, watch me, you already in another country. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Come on here. Why, 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 why? Because your, your, your spirit man is bigger than your natural man. Huh? Come on here. Let's talk for a minute. So watch me. You went from Moab where you cried. And now you end up in another city called Bethlehem. Then you go from the city, watch me, to a field. Watch me. When you get in the field, watch our location. So watch, go, come on, go to the field. Go to the field. Come on, let's go to the field. Go to the field, man. Whoever that is, that is. So she went out and began, everybody said, began to glean, began to glean. In the field, watch me, behind the harvesters. Watch me. You went from Moab to Bethlehem. In Moab is where you cried. When you got to Bethlehem, it's a new beginning. When you did not get up on the field, watch me, you walking behind the harvesters. What you doing? You just picking up stuff. Put it in the bag. What's that mean? What's that mean? You reaping where you didn't even sow. Shut up. Watch me. Watch me. You just gathering stuff. You putting stuff in the bag and people trying to feel like, how did you get that? You don't understand my process. See, I cried in my previous location, but I'm reaping in my present location. And I need some of y'all to get ready to pick up your new check. Pick up your new assignment. Pick up your keys. Pick up your anointing. Pick up your joy. Pick Pick up your, your, your peace. Pick up everything. I need you to make sure you're around gatherers. You cannot be around people that are not picking up stuff. Those of you that are ready to get everything that God has for you, I need you to make sure that the one next to you, that their body is moving. Watch me, because the devil can't hit a moving target. And watch me, you got to get out of the house. You got to get behind the right people. You don't have to work as hard as they work. You being blessed because you're with the right people. Watch me, you're going to be blessed because you sit next to me. You're going to be blessed because you're in the right. <sighs> Reach around, you touch two people, say, get it, 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 say yes, say yes. So you went from, hold on, you went from, from a city, you left Moab and ended up in Bethlehem. You're from Bethlehem and ended up on a field. And because you move it, you move it with people. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. You never know who watching you. Here's the line. I just need some of y'all to just keep showing up. Watch me. He's about your your faithfulness is about to pay off. Watch me. Even when you don't think that nobody's watching you, they watching every move you make. You have no idea how, who's watching you. I just need you to keep being faithful. I need you to keep giving God glory. I need you to keep giving God praise. I need you to keep dancing. It'll blow your mind who's watching your dance. It'll blow your mind who's watching your worship. Come on, let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. Watch me. Ready? Let's give you some revelation. Let's give you some revelation. You went from a city. Everybody do me a favor. Stretch your hands real wide. That's a city. Bring them in a little closer. That's a field. Bring them in real close. You in the house now. Stop. Watch me. Come on. Come on. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hold on. She went. Come on here. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. About to say, she went down to the threshing floor. The threshing floor is not in the field. It's by the house. Watch me. Open your arms up real wide. Come on here. Say, that was my city. Bring them in a little closer. Touch them and say, that's the field I've been working. Bring them in a little bit closer. Now say, this is my next blessing. If you believe that God is about to bring you closer to your next place of blessing, watch me. I need you to, if you feel like you're in the city, I need you to release a house praise. Release a praise on the count of three right here. One, two, three, go. Shift. Shift, 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 yeah, my. shift, on your way to your seat, touch the people say you're shifting, you're shifting from the city to the field, from the field to the house, from the city to the field, from the field to the house, from the city to the field, from the field to the to the house, from the city to the field, from the field to the house that you really gonna own one day. I just wanna see how you handle it before I give it to you. I'm having a moment, I'm having a moment, I'm having a moment. <laughs> Those of you that have been experiencing some movement going on in your life, can I, can I see your hands raised if you've been Can I just hear like 10 seconds of worship right there for your shifting? Not only is your location changing, but your surrounding is about to change. Ready? Let's go surrounding. Let's go surrounding. Let's go. Watch me. You started out with Naomi. So Naomi returned. You started out with the OG who's accompanied by Ruth, the Moabites. Watch me. Then one day while she's in the house with Naomi, she says, listen, I need to get up out of here. If you release me, can I go to the field? And I need you to make sure that you surround yourself with people who are confident in who they are in your life, that they're not going to stop you from meeting new people. I need you to touch their name and say, I'll be back, but I need you to release me right now. I'll be back. But I need you to allow me to meet some new people. You still gonna be my best friend, but God got something better for me. I'll be back and watch me. When I get it, I'm gonna come back and get you. Come on, let's go. Ready? So let's go. So you go from Naomi, you go from the OG that you're now surrounded by women. Stay here. She ends up on the field and she's working the field. And Bible said, watch me. While she's working, she's spotted by Boaz. Please listen to me watch me he never would have seen you had you stayed in Moab he never would have seen you had you stayed in the house I'm so glad you came outside mm. come on here you are not wasting time you're getting attention come on here let's go let's go further so watch me so watch me she now ends up in front of as she's walking in the field watch me boy has asked a question who is that woman I said, working that field with my other girls, my other serving girls. It's something different about her swagger. He said, oh, you know who that is. That's Ruth the Moabite. You know the one that came with Naomi. I love people that try to describe you like you're nothing. That ain't nobody but Ruth the Moabite. Keep talking, keep talking, cause you gonna see how favor. Yeah. 
And when he said that, he called her. He called her in front of him. And he said, listen, stick with, stick with the other servant girls. I've already, I've already told the men not to mess with you. And for some of y'all, I need you to hear me. God has already blocked your warfare. You went through enough hell in Moab. Bethlehem ain't gonna be that difficult. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. You cried enough in Moab that I'm gonna make sure that you don't have to cry the same tears in your new territory. Hey, ta ta da ba. Let's go. Let's move fast. Let's move fast. So she, she bowed to the ground and exclaimed, "Whoa! Why have you found such favor?" in your eyes that you notice me a foreigner everybody hear me before they saw you they saw favor on you if you don't mind I just want to do this real quick we got to move on I just need to such a neighbor just kind of, you have favor so when you walk in they're going to notice your favor before they see you come on here let's have to say you have favor when you go down, I, I, I come against your credit score. I come against, I come against your background. I come against your pain. I come against your previous experience. Can you, come on y'all, tell somebody against against say, you have favor. You ready? You ready now? You made it out of Moab. You now in Bethlehem. You was locked in the house. You came out the house. You worked the field. You met some new people. You didn't have an attitude. You worshiped in front of those that were talking about So today we say, you ready for the bag to be open now? There's a bag of love that's full of some tricks just for you. What's within the bag is about to be offered to you. So one day, she come in the house after working. And the OG said, girl, come in this room. I'm about to hook you up. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody open up and say, God's about to hook me up. Uh, I need you to say it like you know you've been in the field working. I need you to say it like you survived every loss that you had. I need you to say it like you survived every lie, every scandal. I need you to say it like you had a season of pain. I need you to open your mouth. I need you to say it with authority. God is about to hook me up. I need you to make sure you sit next to a celebrator. I celebrated your hookup. You better celebrate mine. If you don't want to, please make sure you sitting around excited people. Test three people say, Your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. The bag is about to be open. 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 Everything that you went through prepares you for the open bag. Okay. You ready? So this is what she tells her. I'm about to give you some spiritual things that's gonna prepare you for what's next. You ready? Take a picture of this, I'm gonna work through real quick. You ready? Take a picture of this, take a picture of this. If you real quick, move, move, move quickly. Hurry up, y'all. This is your Android phone, people, that's taking so long. Come on, hurry up. We can't airdrop you. Do you even know what that is? I'm sorry, listen. Okay, move, let's go to the scripture. Let's go to the scripture. Now Ruth, she called, she, called, she called a little young girl, she said, come here, let me hook you up. I got this bag for you. Now listen. 
Now, Orpah left me because she thought that God was done with me. But you stuck with me because you saw something that she didn't see. You saw God with me. I am not your peer. I am your elder that been through some things that could help you out. Let's stop right there. Be careful that the only ones you hang out with are your peers. You need somebody a little older than you that know what a dog look like. Y'all ain't got that know what a poodle look like. They dog inspectors. You can just bring them around and be like, mm -mm, they don't smell right, they don't smell right. They... She said, number one, I'm going to need you to wash. Mm. I'm going to give you some soap and a rag. Because I'm going to need you to wash your past off of you. I'm going to need you to wash the way you've been thinking. I'm going to need you to wash away everything you lost. Because once the dirt is off of you, that means that you are ready for a fresh start. I need you to prophesy to your neighbor. Touch your neighbor say, God's already washing you clean. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Then I got some oil, because I'm going to need you to put some perfume on you. What does that mean? You're not going to smell like what you came out of. You're going to smell wealthy, and you ain't even got a dime. You're going to smell successful. Ah, y'all ain't saying that to me. We're not going to put no perfume on top of dirt. The devil is a lie. The moment that you clean, now we can spray your behind. Once I spray you, that means you smell like success before you even get success. Woo! Let's go further. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to get you to change your clothes. Why I got to change my clothes? This is who I am. No, no, you're not dressing for who you are. You dressing for who you shall become. Y'all ain't saying that to me. I need you to touch it and say, God's about to change your whole wardrobe. He gonna make somebody take you shopping. He gonna make somebody pay for everything that you need. He about to get rid of all your hoochie clothes. He about to get rid of all your, y'all ain't saying that to me. Everybody stand to your feet. Touch three people around and say, your appearance is changing. Come on, please release that word on somebody. Tell them your appearance is changing. You look like you have several shops. You look like you are a millionaire. You look like you run it. You look like you got a staff. You go back to the scripture. Go back to the scripture. Go back to the scripture. Then I need you to go down to the threshing floor. Get your map out. Where's the thrust? I need you to find it and be specific on where you're going. Because I don't need you to stop in there at a garbage flow. I need you to go to the threshing flow. Touch your name and say, God's about to order your steps. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Lord. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. What does it say next? Don't let, don't let them know you were there. Hold on. If I speak it, my enemy might hear me, but let my praise speak louder than my words. Those of you that believe that God got something amazing in store for you. And they say, shh, don't post nothing. 
You just went out to dinner with him one time. Don't take no picture yet. You still on probation on your job. Don't tell them where you work yet. Don't put your new car on there because they still got a bus pass. Timing is everything. Stay there until he finished eating and drinking. Uh-huh. And when he lie down, I need you to notice where he at. Hold on. Wait a minute. We got to go. Oh, geez. Okay. Here it is. Spot where he at. Hold on. Don't get him mixed up with somebody else. Put them under the microscope. Are you the right one or are you the enemy? I need to I need to make sure I'm sitting next to somebody who's expecting a miracle. I need you to make sure you sit next to somebody who's expecting a miracle. And when you then go, here we go, ready? Then go. Here's my line that messed me up. Yep. Position yourself. Watch where you lay. Don't lay on top of him. Cause he drunk. Cause that's what everybody else do. But because you want different, position yourself different. Lay at his feet like you're gonna be the best thing he gonna ever have. Sit like you already got it. I need you to check the posture of the one on your right and your left. If they sitting there like, but if they got their head lifted. Everything I've been through was supposed to stop me. But let the record reflect, watch me, I'm in the right place at the right time. I'm around the right people. Lift your hands and worship God for 10 seconds. Everybody that's been through something in the previous decade, lift your hands in worship. I need you to hit a pop. I need you, I need you to hear a popping of a sheet in the spirit. What is that? God is about to cover you. I need you to hear me. He woke up and he says, who are you? Who are you? Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Who are you? I'm the one that's been through hell. I'm the one that's experienced loss. I'm the one who was shifted from Moab to Bethlehem, from Bethlehem to a field and from a field. And here I am sitting up in your house. Who are you? I'm the one that started out with a husband, lost that and then ended up with an OG by the name of Naomi. My surrounding changed and I ended up working with some women that I didn't know, but God still protected me. Who are you? I'm the one that can't believe that I'm in your presence. But I believe that God has set me up for such a time as this. So do me a favor. Watch me. The next person that God puts you in front of, they're going to have enough. I need you to hear what I'm about to say. To cover you. Why would he put a king in front of a twin-sized sheet? The next 
opportunity that come your way is gonna be enough to cover you, your house, your kids, your pain, your misery. Come on, lift your hands and say, God, cover me, cover, cover, cover me. You need to watch me, please watch me. We gotta go to me. What am I doing? I keep moving it because I still see some openings. And for some of y'all, God say, I'm gonna make sure that you are totally covered. You will never lack another day in your life. Everybody hear me. You see me, don't you? See, when you see me, you, you might keep bringing up my pain, my misery. But if I get covered, you won't see me, but you'll hear me. And you'll hear me say, glory to God. I need those of you that know that God's ready to cover you. I need you to lift your hands and know that God is ready to cover your pain and your misery and your doubt. Come on, I need God to be able to cover your mistakes. I need God to be able to cover the errors that you failed in because God is ready to do a new thing. Close your eyes. 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 Spiritual submission. I'm gonna need you to wash some stuff off of you. I'm gonna need you to be clean. I'm gonna need you not to let, it, let nobody pull you back in mess. I'm gonna need you to always smell like a sweet aroma. That when you come in the room, I need them to smell truth. You can't smell like your past. I'm gonna need you to look like, I'm literally gonna change your appearance that you will not, watch me, the only way that they would know what you've been through is if you tell them. Because I am literally, watch me, I'm about to cover your record. I want you to go on a apply for a job, but, but they're going to check out my background. What did I tell you? I'm about to cover your record. I'm about to cover your background. I'm about to cover your files. I'm about to cover your credit score. I'm about to give you a new season. I'm about to give you a new beginning. I need you not to bring up who left you. I need you not to bring up who quit you. I need you to know that this is a new season in your life. Can I hear worship for five seconds like you covered five? Four, three, two, one.